Good wonderful morning. Good. Oh my goodness, I can't even talk this morning. Good wonderful, beautiful morning, girls. We're getting ready. We gotta take Dan to the airport, and we gotta get ready to get on out of here. You ready to leave? No, but good thing is I'll see you like in a week. So yeah, right, it's right. Great. It's like super early too. Yeah, so. this airport's not too bad right no, now. No, it isn't. Not it's too bad, bad right now. So thanks everybody. I'll see you next time, and I got a flight to catch. All right, see you later, Dan. Thank you. Bye. Bye. So I just dropped Dan off at Detroit Metro Airport. I don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but this is underneath the airport runway. I don't know if this is something fairly unique to Metro or if it's other airports have this. The airports I've been to haven't had this, so let me know if you've been to an airport that has mile. tunnels left that to go stay on John D. Dingle under Drive. the runway. All right, girls are eating breakfast. Jamie's loading stuff into the car. I dropped Dan off at the airport and I came back and what we sleep for two more hours. He's like, we gotta go to sleep for a few more hours after this. That was early. A little early in Memphis didn't want to go to sleep. Yeah, so. Memphis wasn't too sure about this house last night. And then of course this morning it's thundering and raining and so you can see we got the floor a little wet. So <laughs> after we load the dogs out of here, I'm gonna take one of the towels and do a quick wipe on the floor because I feel bad. Uh, I'll see if they have them. They might have a mop sleep. or something, yeah. yeah. Yeah, I just, I feel bad because this guy was so nice about letting us have this house and not charging us the pet fee since we were only here one night. Mm. I'm like, oh, I want to make sure I leave it as clean as possible. I'm going to do the dishes and stuff real quick too, but, <laughs> um, but yeah, so this was a cute little house. Oh, now it's daylight out. I can at least show you just the neighborhood. Right we're in Romulus and then it does have a super cute backyard. I'm not going to walk out there, but we can go peek through this window here. Super cute backyard fire pit. There's a swing set. Super, super cute. And of course, it wasn't raining until we got up and now it's pouring rain. It wasn't raining when I took Dan to the airport. Thankfully, because him and I rotated dogs, so I think they're pretty good for the ride. But uh, yeah, come on, get out of Dad's way. He's got a load of stuff. I'm gonna go start doing room checks and uh, I think we're gonna head home because it sounds like we got work to do. <laughs> sounds like we got lots of sap to get ready. Well, sap to finalize, I guess. What do you think? Are you ready to go? I'm so glad we brought that towel with us because we've used it quite a few times to dry off the dogs. I had forgot the towels. They're like, I normally bring towels with us, dog towels, in case it rains when we do the expos and I forgot them. So I ran to PetSmart when we were in New Jersey, Pennsylvania, one of the two, and I ended up grabbing a microfiber towel. I'm so glad I did because you guys will be getting everything soaked right now. And what's really funny is Jamie and I rushed and rushed and rushed to load the trailer and get everything ready and it quit raining. Like it just quit. So <laughs> we got all soaked when we could have just waited like 30 minutes, but. Oh, Memphis, are you ready to go home? You ready to go home? You wanna go for a ride? Yeah? Four more hours and we'll be there. Mm -hmm. We found out there's a Dunkin' in West Branch. So we got some churro donuts, some sprinkle donuts. I got a coconut chocolate filled donut. We're about an hour and a half away from home. I did get the dog's donuts, but they already mm -hmm. ate them. I did not even film it. I'm like, here's your donut. Right. So we're taking a little break. We're in West Branch. We passed our normal exit so we could come here and get donuts. Are they mm -hmm. probably West not Branch. as good as du no. duck donuts, but they're Dunkin' Donut donuts. Yeah, they're Dunkin' Donuts. And we saw Dunkin' all mm -hmm. weekend when we were there. So, mm -hmm. all right, I might eat my donut. Yep. Oh, we made it home. I can't let you out there. Squirrel friend is out there. He's out there. He, he might be having his lunch. He hasn't had to deal with you guys for a week. Kira's like, um, hello, this is my yard. We're like out here. All right, let me get squirrel friend out of your yard first. All right, I scared him away. He went up the tree. Are you ready? Three, two, one. You made it home! And there is absolutely no snow left up here because it was just as warm up here as it was at home. And of course they're going straight for squirrel friend because that's what they do. Oh my goodness. So the whole time we were gone, Jamie's dad was preparing sap for us. So he got it boiled down a little bit and then now we are going through and finalizing it. It looks a little weird here because it's still slightly cold. <laughs> uh, so we got to go through and do this and then we got to filter it and then you know all the things but oh my goodness so much sap. So we're working on that tonight as well. This is a big turkey fryer and it's almost full and then we have a whole another bucket right here. What is it? 10 gallons, first cooked, eight hours, 15 gallons, second, eight hours. So there's a total of 25 gallons that got cooked down and is in this bucket. And this one was 13 hours, two, yeah, oh my goodness. So much sap. Na, na, na. It's next morning. Uh, 
we boiled down quite a bit of this last night and now we're doing it inside so now we're getting it to that now it's starting to get bubbly which means we should probably start testing it quite a few times oh it smells so i wish you guys had smell vision this smells amazing also alec if you're around jamie is loving the coffee milk like loving the coffee milk just so you know this is what he had this morning for coffee instead of his regular coffee so i think i'm gonna have to be ordering some of that for him to have because he loved it <laughs> so i feel like i'm smelling maple syrup and coffee milk which is really good if you guys have never had it alec gave us this when we were out in new jersey it's a rhode island thing and i've known about it because of tiktok i think i said that in the other video but uh you should try it if you like coffee, even if you don't like coffee. It's it's actually really good. Even Dan liked it. Oh, it's almost there. I had to switch cameras because I'm offloading tons of files mm -hmm. to uh, from the trip. But this is looking delicious. Almost there? Yeah, 66 cold. All right, so we need to be between 66 and 68. So we're just about there. I gotta go. 66, 65 minutes. All right, I'm gonna go check on the dogs real quick. Are you looking for a squirrel friend? like i was looking for squirrel friend squirrel friend wasn't out there though chipmunk friend was out there but he already took off are you happy to have your couch memphis pretty much been there all morning she's like this is my spot guys i don't know what you're talking about how about you you happy to be back jamie there's no peanuts out here i put some out this morning they're gone so the neighbor called us while we were gone well then she didn't call me she texted me while we were gone to let us know that uh squirrel friend was knocking on our door looking for his peanuts <laughs> syrup <laughs> do your thing it looks good i'm i'm testing it, it yeah is put your good. finger in it show everybody how right. sticky it is that's got that good drip oh, oh. it's stuck <laughs> yep perfect one more drip mm, perfect <laughs> what do you think ma'am are you over here trying to steal some sap say like, can i have some i really like some i think it might be delicious I'm sure it would be delicious, but no, you cannot have any, sorry. Happy, happy, happy dogs. Oh my goodness. So, wanted to uh, remind you guys, actually, I think the day that this video goes up, we are actually in Chantilly, Virginia at the Pet Expo, the Super Pet Expo in Chantilly, Virginia. So, if you were waiting to find out when we're going to be there, which we've been telling you the whole time, <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure that the day this goes up is the day that the event starts. So hopefully we get to come, you guys get to come see us. We get to see a whole lot of you guys and meet a whole lot of you. We're super excited. Oh my goodness. Be a lot of expo and travel videos in the next couple vlogs. So I'm hoping you guys are enjoying those. It's kind of nice to get the heck out of the house. It's the next day. So I have to go ahead and start another video because today, which you will see on Monday's vlog, we're making Kira's birthday cake, and if you want to see how it turned out, it probably already went up over at Gone to the Snow Dogs. You should definitely go check that out. So we're going to go ahead and end today's video. As always, thanks so much for watching. Thanks for subscribing. Stay positive. Dream big, and we will see you again soon. Good night, party. Did I get a boop? Boop, 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 boop. <laughs> She's like, no, you kind of boops. Fine. How about me? Boop. There you go. <laughs> Good night, audience.